its end blasting is complete and when we uh, kind of shuffled the shop around uh, yesterday to uh, to get the uh, truck body in the shop next to the uh, frame and we're getting ready to uh, to hoist the body over on top of the frame so we can start uh, I don't know, changing the bed sides and, and miscellaneous other uh, body parts. Uh, the body has been uh, wiped down with, well, let me see, uh, let me grab it. Yeah, there it is, the uh, metal prep or the uh, BUR, uh, PUR15 metal prep. Uh, same process we used on the frame, sandblast, uh, metal prep, and then apply the PUR15. The areas on the cab where we're not going to use the PUR15 uh, will clean back off or scrub back down and... Uh, use I think we're going to use a uh, epoxy primer on it and uh, we'll get to that uh, hopefully shortly all right fellas you can tell that the uh, body is back on the frame here and we're moved on to some body work here and as you can probably tell I've removed the uh, the rocker panel already and uh, revealed some more of the uh, toll that time has uh, placed on our uh, 71 here. Uh, this inner rocker panel starting to look pretty rough as well, so uh, probably going to order a replacement patch for that. Uh, and as you can see here, we have already uh, got the bed sides for it. Now, um, you might be able to tell that I replaced this forward uh, panel right here a while back. And uh, let me take you over to the other side. And quite a bit more Frankenstein work over here on the right side of the truck. Uh, back uh, well, a while ago when we started the body work, um, really before we knew how in-depth we were going to get with this truck, Nobody had the bed sides for it. So I wound up buying some patch panels for it. Now, all these panels have been replaced because of damage, not because of rust. Uh, the inner rocker, uh, that's a little bit of a different story, but these outer panels were all because of, of damage. Um, and I'll show you an example of that over on the other side, but this it had a good wrinkle here in the arch. Uh, crushed back here and uh, same on the front side of the of the fender here so back then there wasn't even this rear panel wasn't even available for the blazer so I had to buy this for a Suburban and then cut it down and in the process of patching all this together to make it work Southern Kentucky announced that they were making the sidewall or the uh, the bed sides for this blazer so that's when we stopped um we could have continued down this path and i'm sure it would have turned out just fine but um why uh, <laughs> why when you can spend a whole lot more money and more time and uh you know i guess get it right so we stopped the progress and I ordered the panels. Took me a couple of months to uh, to get up the money and the courage <laughs> to do it. But we ordered them. Uh, I was gonna plan a trip up there to go pick them up to save the freight. That never worked out, so I had them shipped in. And uh, yeehaw, they're here and uh, they look good. So that's what we're gonna get on next is changing these sidewall panels or the, uh, the bed sides as they call them. So, Back to uh, to the left side of the truck, and as I was uh, putting those patch panels on on the right hand side of the truck, Ben was over here grinding the, <laughs> the four layers of paint off from it, and uh, you know digging into the to the mud, and we realized that's you know that's part of what made the decision us to make the decision to order the bed sides was you know, we just found a lot of mud, a lot of damage. Um, and it was all around the detail uh, of the tail light, and uh, you know, even even here, you can see that obviously uh, 
someone had backed into something and shoved the bumper into the uh, the back part of the the bedside here so all that piled up on top of itself and we just decided hey let's uh let's take advantage of these new bedsides and swap them out so we stopped the progress with the patch panels and uh, now we're we're going to swap them out the whole kit and caboodle here so that's what we're getting on today uh, as I stated earlier, I've already removed the rocker. That's imperative because uh, we got to get to these uh, these two top secret bolts down here. There's also uh, a couple other bolts that are back in here. All of it you get access through the reinforcing box. Um, hard to pick up there, and it's uh, got a nice layer of sand in there uh, but look at that all cleaned up and there's the access panel that comes off the back side of it so I'm going to work on taking the rest of these bolts out I believe back here on the back corner post we will uh, find some more hardware it needs to be removed. Let's see, let's see if we can pick it up on the new one. Yeah, back down below. Looks like there's two bolts there as well. So up in, yeah, there they are. Where are they? Inside. Yeah, well, bad lighting again, but up inside this channel back here. Let's see. Yeah, right up in there. A couple more bolts to get out. It looks like we've got a few welds to grind out. And uh, hopefully this thing will just lift off of there. Maybe a spot welder or two that need to be pulled. Obviously the uh, gas tank is already disconnected, so uh, that won't be a problem as well as the uh, the electrical. So let's get to it. Well, these uh, bolts here inside of the the bed, uh, right around the aft door pillar. What is that? The B pillar. Um, have <laughs> been tough. They uh, they want to keep spinning, so I'm hoping. Uh, Hoping the old vice grip trick will will uh, prov uh, provide uh, enough gripping force to uh, to get them out. But... Well, the old vice grips failed. Maybe because I called them channel locks earlier. They're on uh, for revolting. But hey, <laughs> when it doesn't work, try something a little different. Boys, boys, not around. Gotta make do. Oh boy. I just reach in there and pull it out, but it's oh, oh, my God. oh not too hot. Okay, <laughs> that's the way you do it. Alright, now to the back ones. Alright, I thought we were done up here on this B post. I think is that right? The B post? Is that the one that's uh the back side of the door? Well, anyways, that one uh, on the back side of the door is what we're working on still. But one here, one there, and then there's one. It's just the head side of it up there. Uh, it's got a uh, welded on nut. So uh, let's see if that's the same on the new panel. All right, so here's the new panel. These are the ones that were taken loose and the nuts are welded on those uh, on all three of them. So they'll go from inside that stiffening box uh, outward on this new panel. All right, we got those three out. That leaves the two in the back. All right, yep, there's the two in the back that need to come out yet. Both of them half inch nut and bolt. 
All right, well, that's why it's good to have the new panel laying around because if you study it hard enough, you uh, you find some secret hardware spots. And uh, this is the holes for the bolts that I just removed on the forward side. And uh, there's two more back here. Uh, blind as well. Yep, these definitely have nuts. Let's see. Welded in, let me give you a little light. Yeah, nuts welded in there. I still have the uh, tail light assembly. Yeah, it's still stuck in there. Um, so I'm, I'm sure the nuts are on the back side of this one as well. So let's get those out now. All right, I did have to pull the old tail light reflector out. Just so, <laughs> well, I think there's 50 years of rust on those bolts right there. I'm not even sure the old Whiskey Delta 40 is going to have any effect on that. Give that a minute and see if that'll work them or help work them out. Well, it did work. I got them out, and uh, I'm pretty sure those things haven't seen the light of the day since, uh, well, early 70s. But you know, this thing's not getting any... Uh, any wigglier I think maybe you know obviously got a little grinding work to do right here um, but it seems like there's more than that holding it on because even uh, the front one huh front one with all its hardware out these uh, look pretty hard at these two bolts and I don't think they attach anywhere. If you look at the the front side of the new panel, definitely not there. So, but it, <laughs> every time you bump it, sand comes falling out of everywhere. So, uh, huh. you know, I'll probably uh, drill this data tag off now, and then I might have to start just uh, whacking it with a whiz wheel and and uh, see what loosens it up. Right, that came off with a uh, thundering crash. Uh, wasn't quite expecting it to fall off when it did, but hey, it's off of there. And it looks like we've got a little bit of cleanup work to do here, not too bad. Uh, some welds here and a, a weld here. But that'll, uh, that'll come off pretty quick and easy and uh, clean up on that uh, the C channel here will be easy as well. So uh, the front side, a little bit of a different matter. Uh, looks like, well, I'm not sure exactly what's going on with these bolts. There's nothing in the new panel that, that accepts these bolts. This is all inside of a box area on the new panel. And uh, then where the panel tapers down, um, somehow it, it looks like it's spot welded or grafted in here that, that is attached to this, this cross member here. So we're going to have to grind all that out and, uh, and clean that up. The rest of it uh, looks pretty good. I mean, we're missing a bolt here, and this one's obviously too short and rusted, so we'll get that uh, 
cleaned up and uh, fixed up. It looks to me like the bolts should have come in from the top here going down um, the way the threaded area is. Let me see if I can shine some light on that. Yeah, I don't, I don't get what's going on there, but a little bit more investigating to go there to see how that needs to go back together.
All right, we got things pretty well cleaned up here. Uh, still a little bit of work to go. I, I did get a bolt to come up through uh, through this, and, and then I just kind of flattened off those heads. I don't see any reason why they got to stick all the way through. And actually, that that bolt just holds this, this inner plate on here. So uh, I may even put a little uh, silicone or uh, seam sealer or something on there to keep the moisture out. Uh, so we'll we'll do some more cleanup on this and then uh, rust treatment and uh, some kind of uh, primer paint and uh, maybe undercoating and the same back here uh, I got some work to do inside this channel uh, full length of it uh, but this this cleaned up fairly nice and uh, same deal rust treatment primer paint but I'm kind of excited about putting this bedside on and giving her an old test fit here. So uh, let's have at that and uh, see how she fits. All right, uh, super lifter <laughs> made short work of it. It was super nice. Uh, the back end of this thing looks uh, pretty good. These holes are lining up uh, nicely. Uh, there, got one missing here. Have to pull, uh, I'll probably scribe that out. And when we pull it back off, take a look to see if there is even another hole. Uh, well, we'll just take a look at it. These holes are, uh, hard to show you, but they're not quite lined up. Um, we'll have to see what's going on with them. Outside of it looks good. Now up here is a little bit of a different story. Uh, we're about, uh, what, half inch off here. Um, inside holes look like they're pretty close. Again, we've got, well, this is a round one, not a square one for the uh, uh, carriage bolts. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that one. have to take another look at that. Um, but this is a little bit interesting. If we look on the inside, well, i got to bump it over a little bit. Let me see. It it hits right here, eh, right there on the uh, rocker box and holds it off by about a quarter of an inch. I, I, when I showed you earlier, I said about half an inch and if I bump it over there, it's more like a quarter of an inch. Uh, you can see it there, the gap. So it looks like the bottom edge of this thing is gonna need to be either notched right here or trimmed. Uh, there's a good bit of this rocker box that hangs down below the uh, skin, but it looks like it's going to have to be notched to fit around it. All right, I've had this thing on and off uh, half a dozen times, uh, fitting and trimming and and the looking and uh, while <laughs> trying to clean up. I mean, there's sand oozing out from everywhere. That rocker box is uh, well, I'm getting it, but. Holy smokes, just sand everywhere. Uh, you can see I, I notched out down there around the rocker box and uh, that that is, uh, it, to let it ease in, I actually uh, notched it a little bit wide. Um, that's, uh, you know, I think a perfect spot for, for dirt and water to get slung up there from the wheel. So uh, I want a little bit of a gap down there uh, to, to let that drain out. Um, let's see, I got two of the bolts in, two out of the three. One is uh, just completely off by about a half a hole, so I gotta, uh, I gotta pull the hole over. But the, the bad news, I guess, is up here, um, still got, still have, proper English, uh, quite a gap here. 
as well as these nuts do not line up with these holes. Um, you can draw them down slightly, um, but way too much tension to pull them down where they need to go. And then I've taken a bunch of other dimensions. Um, you know, there, there's a gap. There's a gap here, like the whole end of the bedside needs to go down to help the, these bolt holes line up and to close this gap up here. But if you measure the distance from, where's my finger? From the bed to the top of the bedside, they're exactly in the same place as, uh, as the stock one over there. So 19, uh, I think it's 19 and a quarter from there to there. So that means we do not want to draw it down anymore. Um, I think my game plan right now is remember when we pulled this off, we pulled this rocker off, there were not any nut plates there welded on nuts. They were bolts and with the nuts on the inside inside the rocker box so i'll probably do the same thing I'll, I'll grind these nuts off elongate these holes to to let the holes line up or to make the holes line up put the bolts through and the nuts on the back side um, i'm not gonna do all that quite yet uh, i'm planning on after further review here i don't like this inner rocker box so I'm going to order one of those uh, patch kits and, uh, and change that inter interlock uh, rocker box. And uh, I think I'll do it clear up to about midway here on this step. Um, above that, it looks pretty good, pretty nice. But there's some pitting in here, definitely some pitting in here. These holes are from taking the old uh, rocker box off or the, yeah, the old uh, rocker off. But um, it's bad enough that, that it probably needs to be, be swapped out, and this is the time to do it. So uh, I'll order one of those. And uh, hey, also, uh, once we get this opened up, give me an opportunity to get in there and clean, <laughs> clean it out in there. It's a mess. Ton of sand. All right, better part of a day's work here. Just uh, dinking around with this thing on and off and... Uh, <laughs> trying to get it to fit and it's not too bad uh, you know for an old truck uh, gap here is is pretty good it the bedside bows right here a little bit so it's it's tighter to, well it's the same gap down here at the bottom is at the top but it's a little bit wider here in the middle not much well nothing that I care to really mess with and also I don't know if this tailgate's warped or not, but a uh, good fit up here. I got a little bit, the uh, bedside is a little bit proud of the, of the tailgate here. Uh, it's back to being, you know, even, even kind of even right in here. And, uh, and tailgate's proud of the, of the bedside here a little bit. So, you know, I, I'd be willing to bet that that was just the fit and finish back then and um, you know because we got kind of the same thing going on over here with the factory side so now this tailgate's not the straightest in the world it it's uh you know it's had a hard life like the rest of the truck but it's good enough for me and uh because <laughs> i'm not gonna mess with it uh, any more than that but uh, i had to move some holes around a little bit on the bottom down here uh, to, to kind of get the best on the, the fit and finish up here. Uh, front side of it, um, like I said earlier, well, look at that, uh, hard to see. Let me give you some light there. Um, <laughs> that's not much help, is it? Uh, there you go. Um, I. I cut the nuts off from it. I cut, cut the welds off and um, I'm thinking I might weld these back on. I don't know. 
but uh, the holes got elongated so much, I wound up um, cutting a little plate here. All this is going to be up underneath the, uh, the rocker panel, so uh, none of it will be exposed. But uh, I'm not even sure if I'll tack that little plate on there. I, I may I'll get the welder around here. I may do it. But everything else is is pretty good. Still, still got a gap under here. Going to take some seam sealer to fill that up. But I don't know what else to do about it. Uh, the rest of it fits good. These holes, a little bit of truing up on those to do. Um, the back ones fit a little bit better than the front, but. That's not any big deal. Uh, tips and hints, I would probably uh, take some measurements from side to side um, before I took my original. If I'd have thought of it, I'd have done it. Uh, before I took the original ones off, I don't know if they they were straight or not, but it would have been nice to know. Um, I've used a square to kind of check them out and uh and this one's they're both about about the same out of square um so i think they're right and uh, we'll see when we go to to fit the doors um probably won't do that until i start messing with the with this rocker panel but uh, i've had about enough for the day oh uh one other deal remember i told you we had to trim back the bottom edge of the panel there um, to create a gap. Uh, as it turns out, you probably don't need to. Um, what I needed to do was a twist on the panel pretty hard to get this prop rod to go in. And once, I mean, I, I had to pull on it a good bit, but once I got it bolted in, that opened up that, that gap. So it probably would have been about perfect. Uh, who knew? I uh, still have one more bolt to, uh, to put in down there. And that's probably the worst one of the whole panel. Uh, I've had to drag it. Um, and it's actually the, the hole is in the outside of this rocker box panel. And I've had to drag the hole forward uh, about a, a hole. Uh, well, it'll probably be about a hole and a half by the time I get done. So quite a bit, probably a uh, half inch or so. I've had to drag the hole. I use my, uh, uh, my burr on the end of my uh, die grinder and, uh, and drag the hole. And uh, so I'll probably have to put a patch on that just so it, uh, <laughs> it doesn't look ugly. But a little bit more secure. But that's it. Uh, off to, uh, I'll make it to the other side tomorrow. Uh, sure is nice to be putting some new parts back on the truck.
All right, we got the metal pretty well cleaned up, and uh, you know I think some good news and bad news. Uh, this plate here, uh, the other side had been doctored on, had been hacked out, and actually it might have been by me when I changed that um, quarter over there. And I think I'll do uh, I'll do the same over here. Uh, hack that out and replace this. It's easy to do, and this has got some pretty good pitting. In here the good news is this inner rocker is in pretty good shape I probably will not mess with it I've got one on order for the other side and we'll see how that goes um, it's a, a lot more deteriorated along the bottom and it's got some heavy pitting along um, the floorboard here where this one does not it's got some um, you know, this is some weld marks that were ground out when uh, when I pulled the rocker box off uh, the outer panel but uh, besides that it's in pretty good shape um, the back had some evidence as well that this kind of interesting it had a couple of spot welds right in here where the other one <laughs> I didn't notice them I didn't find them and I'm not sure why but it, it, uh, it's interesting to me, this back post um, is held into position by these four bolts and look how large those holes are. So you would think that, you know, maybe they adjust the gap on the tailgate with this and then spot weld it together. I'm not sure, but um, I don't think this has been done afterwards because like I said, this spot weld, these two spot welds, they weren't big, they were pretty teeny, but they kept that corner post from moving back and forth. So there was a couple of welds that you saw me ground out right here and here. And uh, <laughs> I don't remember or not, I've changed this back floorboard when I started this project because the corrosion all along this back, uh, this trailing edge here, this back edge. And they actually had to do a little bit of repair work to the top of this beam. And I think I might have added those welds in there. I, I know I did um, to stiffen things up. But these spot welds were obviously added at the factory. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that and see whether we need more than just this hardware. To hold this post in place uh, we may have to throw some welds back in here to keep things from shifting around well the bedside's on and we did not weld it along this seam probably some seam sealer and uh, we'll call it good it's good and secure so I'm happy with that apologize for not uh, including the installation of uh, this bedside in this video I either didn't film it or I lost the footage I'm not sure but it's the same as the left side it went on nice and smooth I mean it goes on and off uh, on and off on and off several times but the same as the other side so I, I guess what I did fail to mention was on the front side here on the forward side of the bedside Obviously, uh, we have the rocker panel installed now. That's in a, in a video coming up soon. But underneath where you graft it in, or where I grafted it in, there is six uh, spot welds here. Not Well, the factory does spot welds. We, we have to do plug welds. So there's six plug welds in here underneath this panel. So it would be difficult to change this bedside without changing... The rocker the outer rocker panels as well uh, lots of grafting in to do here I guess uh, you know recommendations measure 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 uh, measure height here measure the angle 
uh, on the old panels before you pull them off and uh, have that for reference material um, for putting these new ones back on and take a measurement side by side on the bottom side by side on the top uh, lots of measurements um, I some of them I did do uh, kind of uh, I think I mentioned it earlier um, after changing the left side I took some measurements before I changed this right side and it was helpful for uh, for placing the right side um, inner fender wells are done those are AMD um, supplied by my buddy Walt thanks Walt um, good stuff um, also uh, thanks to uh, Southern Kentucky for these uh, you know for spending the money and the research to uh, to produce these bedsides uh, good product uh, they fit fairly well and uh, you know for all the work that it takes to uh, develop these and the dies I can't imagine what size the dies are um, to, to, to stamp these things but uh, what a tremendous amount of work to produce a product like this and uh, I appreciate them I'm sure we all do appreciate them going through that process uh, so keep it up um, all right guys uh, Hope you're getting something done in your shop and uh, appreciate you watching.